We left Cleveland yesterday and then hung out a little bit this morning in Erie, Pennsylvania. And now we just found ourselves a free campsite in the Chautauqua Gorge State Park. It's in upstate New York, just over the border of Pennsylvania. I believe there's eight free campsites in the camping area here and none of them are really occupied right now except for one other one over there so it's pretty quiet. I can imagine it could get pretty loud over here though if they were all occupied on like a weekend night or something like that. Can't complain too much though, it's a massive site and it's completely free. It looks like you can stay here for three nights without a permit and then if you decide to stay longer than that, I think up to 14 days, you have to get a permit with the state of New York. We're making asparagus again tonight, but that's like the only thing that's the same. Oh wait, we have pita too. We have pita again. <laughs> the pita and the asparagus are the same, but everything else is different. We're going with like a Mediterranean theme tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got some hummus, we've got some red peppers. Um, and falafel. We have, yeah, falafel, which we're excited for. Yeah, we're really excited. It's like pre-packaged falafel, so we didn't like make it from scratch or anything, but <laughs> it should be pretty good. We're excited to give it a try. Mm -hmm. Looks like it turned out pretty well. We've been snacking on it quite a bit though while we were making it and we definitely know it tastes good. So pretty excited to eat the rest of it here. It's really simple to make and really easy. Didn't take too long. We're kind of fighting the sun down again. So we're gonna get it finished up and then we're gonna get to bed. <laughs> the campsite worked out really well last night. Two cars drove by at like nine o'clock exiting the campground area. And then after that, I don't think there was anybody else out here the rest of the night. It's also like the darkest camps that I've ever been at before. With all these trees covering overhead, you couldn't see anything out here when it was the middle of the night. We woke up pretty late. It's after nine o'clock now, and we have kind of a tight schedule for the rest of the day today. Our plan is to see Niagara Falls, but it's about two and a half hours from here. So we're gonna hit the road right now, try to get up there and check that out for the afternoon and evening. And then we gotta drive over to Rochester, New York because Antine flies out of there at like 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. I had a bit of a nightmare last night, but it wasn't your typical like in the middle of the woods with a killer popping out of the bushes trying to get you a nightmare. It was just that the road that was right next to the campsite that we stayed at, that dirt road, became like a street in a busy city. So all of a sudden there was like all these cars driving by and it was like bothering us and there were like people walking by and like looking in and like, you know, cause we didn't, we didn't put the curtains up or anything like that. I never do when we're out camping like that. So it was just kind of like freaking me out and it was awful. All the Planet Fitness has really weird hours today because it's Labor Day. This one here closed at 1, so we decided to take showers first and then go explore. Niagara Falls! So we went to Canada. When we were crossing the border, the customs agent asked me where I was from, and I was kind of stumped for a second. I didn't really know what to say. I guess I need to start getting used to saying that I'm from South Dakota. I definitely understand why everybody recommends that you go to the Canadian side as well and check out Niagara Falls from here. Oh yeah, the view is way better from over here. It's pretty incredible. But we've been here for a couple hours exploring and now we're going to head over to the United States side. We'll talk to you all in the next two or three hours or however long it takes us to get across the border.
So it actually didn't take long at all to get through customs and get back into the United States. It was really easy. I'm really glad that we didn't drive over there because the line of cars trying to get back in was crazy. The traffic was insane. So being able to just walk there and walk back was way easier than it would have been to drive through. That being said, they did kind of trick us. We didn't realize that there was a toll to walk across the bridge coming in from the Canadian side. So we got to the gate and all of a sudden realized that we didn't have any cash on us, either American or Canadian. So we yeah, and the toll was only 50 cents a person, but we had to go to a Canadian ATM to take out money to be able to pay that 50 cents per person. So we person. took $20 out of a Canadian ATM, and now we have 19 Canadian dollars, and we're back in the United States and have no idea what to do with it. Fortunately, I have a layover in Detroit tomorrow, and I'm sure they'll have a currency exchange there, so I'll just get it changed over then. It is pretty close to Canada. I think it'll probably be good. It was definitely sad to see her go, but I know that this time it's not as bad as it was last time. Last time we weren't going to see each other for two months. This time I'll get to see her in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be flying down to New Orleans to spend some time down there. So at least it's not as bad as it was the last time we had to part ways. I ended up dropping her off at the airport at around 5 a.m. And then I just was kind of really awake, so I just drove for a couple of hours towards Vermont. And now I just found myself a little Walmart over here. So I think I'm gonna lay down and maybe nap for like an hour or two and then get back on the road after that. I know there were quite a few folks in the Cleveland and then upstate New York, Buffalo, Niagara Falls area that had messaged me trying to meet up. And I didn't really get a chance to get back to anybody just because we've been rushing and kind of going crazy the last couple of days driving and everything like that. So I'm sorry if we didn't get a chance to meet up. I just, we didn't really have enough time in that area between Antine needing to fly out early this morning and then my schedule to try to get to Vermont later on today. Hopefully next time I'm in the area though and we'll be able to meet up and I'll have more time to hang out and kind of take it easy. Before ending the vlog I do have one new Patreon pledge to thank. Andy, thanks so much for joining the Patreon team. Your support is going to help keep this journey alive. I'll talk to you all in the next video.